day wherever you are in this world. I can't believe it's already February. Time seems to just fly by this year. Here we have Gregor on the headset with me. Um, if you don't already know him, he is a pro sim racer and coach Dave Academy driver and also has been my teammate and coach for the More Female Racers Championship for season one and two. Gregor, how's it going? Yeah, um, hello to everybody. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's a long time since our last coaching session. I mean, two weeks, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, especially to Spa. It's one of my, you know, circuits which I really enjoy to drive. And yeah, I'm just hoping, you know, you can learn something from this session, you know? Absolutely. I, I definitely learn a lot from the sessions with you. And I think, you know, a lot of feedback from the viewers over the past, I don't know, however long we've been working together since August. I mean, they've learned a ton as well. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, I just hope from my side to the people who watch the stream on my channels that the quality is fine because my um, my upload is quite uh, fluctuating a lot. So it might be that I maybe need to end the stream earlier if it's like not possible to watch it. So. I definitely need to sort something out if, if this con if the upload continu continues to um, fluctuate like that. But um, yeah, I just hope everything works on my side and we can start now with the coaching session. Cool. And hi, everybody on Gregor's stream as well. All right. Um, I Will you share your screen? Yeah, yeah. Any moment. I just need to find the replay. Sounds good. So where is it? And I love the sessions where you go over the replay and then you break everything down because that's where I can really process all that information and really take a closer look at all the reference points that I need to hit and the lines and everything. So I think out of all the, the different kinds of um, coaching sessions we have, I think this is more effective for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay, that's and it's the lab. Let's see. <laughs> What's up, JDP Gaming? When does the new MFR season start? Actually, we haven't heard yet, and we are waiting. So for season one, I think we ended in September, and it started up in December. So maybe it's going to be about the same time frame, but I do know that SimGrid has a lot of things going on. Um, Gregor, I don't know if you know anything that I don't know. Um, I also have no info about the start of the next season, so unfortunately. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see. So season two came up, up actually more quickly than I had expected. I thought it was going to come up in the beginning of this year, but uh, they surprised us. And I think yeah, one, yeah. once sure. it was announced, I think we only had like a week to to get our qualifying times down, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. I <laughs> like in the morning I had an upload from 40 Mbit per second, and now it's like fluctuating between 200 and 5k. So. Oh yeah. wow. But, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 so it's just literally so weird. I don't know why, but <laughs> um, so let me quickly. So yes, share we, my screen. We are practicing, um, and um, Gregor is going to take me around Spa. Um, show he's going to show the replay of his lap, break it down, and then we can all learn from there. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Is everything? Uh, is the stream working for you in Discord or? Um. Yes, I see it. Let me um, make it full screen, and then I'm going to I'm going to make it live. Everybody, here we go. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Um. So that's uh, last turn, and then we go for the hot. 
I'm already slowing down a little bit. So, like, first of all, it's really important to know that, you know, the first sector um, is basically you have only one acceleration zone. So it's uh, less source, so turn one. And from there onwards, you're just basically flat out till the the breaking for the comp. So after Rouge and Radulion. Um, so you basically, the first sector is, you know, flat out. And that's why it's really important to have a really good exit out of the first corner. Just, you know, to be able to get, you know, um, any uh, you know, the best possible exit that you don't lose anything on the straights. So, uh, you know, we need to try to go really, really early on the power and, you know, also like in a, with a straight steering wheel to, you know, have the, mo the grip for the um, acceleration. So, as you see, like, we're approaching turn one. We go to the left side as close as possible. And um, you see, like, here the 100 meter board on the left. That's, like, our reference point. Yes. When this marker, you know, vanishes in the F FOV or when, like, this column here, um, here. If this hits, like, the 100 meter board, that's where I'm braking. So I can slow down, you know, you see? Yep. And now it's away and I'm starting to break. We try to stay really, really straight because the corner is quite narrow, so we have a really late entry. Um, then we still, you know, releasing the brake while turning to give the car some lateral grip to rotate. And then, like, when we, as we hit the apex, you already see um, here on the throttle. Yes. We are already going really early and quick on it, just to have like, just to not lose any time on the exit here. Okay. The line on that corner um, is something that I have a very difficult time like getting just mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's really difficult to nail the speed which you need to carry there. Like some people go way too fast in, and then they lose a lot of time on the exit. Uh, many people also just turn in too early and then, you know, they need to rotate the car for a longer time and then go also early on the throttle. So it's really important to stay on the outside as long as possible, then turn in and then as you hit the apex, go straight on the power to not lose any time. Okay. Then here I'm um, approaching Rouge and Radion. We're going to as close as possible to the wall to the right side and then a really, really, really early turn in because we want to cut as much curb as possible here just to have a better entry for the for the um, uphill right hander here. You see, like, if I go in, into, um, if I go five seconds before, and if you look at the curb now, you see, like, there is um, we have on the one hand you know here this yellow red curb mm -hmm. and then we also have you know um, here this extension basically you know small extra curb and we are trying to go with our uh, left tires over over this extension curb you know um you will see if i go into the car again okay um so la. you see like how much i'm cutting and so um let me slow it down a little bit so you can have a better look here let me stop it here. you see if you look from the top, like, we are taking everything possible oh, yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. And it, that's not considered a cut. I mean, I, I'm no, no. At what point is it a cut? On, like, right here. I, it would be maybe if you go on the grass there with your left tires, but you don't do that because it's, it will be, it will unsettle the car and you will lose more time. Okay. <laughs> there also, like, a mistake which a lot of people do is they turn in too late. And then what happens is they have no like 
time in the corner where they have a straight steering wheel, so they go from steering lock to the left to the right. Oh. So full steering lock to the left, full steering lock to the right, and this is just you know causing a lot of unbalance uh, in the car, and that and that's why a lot of people spin actually in the Rouge and, and rally on, especially like in mid-engine cars, because you need you know a settled car. So that's why you know you see like let me go into this camera. I'm already like the corner is still far away, like 200 meters or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think 100 meters actually. But um, I'm already like turning early. Just you know, you see like here, I have like almost zero steering lock applied. You know, yes. so in this way, like the car stays balanced. And then after I drove over this curve, I'm starting to turn right, taking a little bit of the curb here. You need to be careful, you know. Um, you can take like the start of the curb, let me go up. But if you go like, it's basically, you can take um, a little bit of the of the curb here, let's say. This amount will be always okay. It only gets problematic <laughs> if you start to take more of it. And then eventually you go over the grass and then the front rear just you know loses grip and then you start start to spin maybe yeah. because the car is you know um, bouncing off the curb so yeah you can take a little bit of the curb there some cars hate it some cars don't depends of course on the car this Ferrari with the setup is able to take it a little bit so okay um, we take a little bit of curb here as you see not too much and then straight straightening the steering wheel as early as possible like we don't hold the maximum lock for a long time because if we would we just you know couldn't use uh or we basically would just you know lose a lot of speed as we can't get you know the grip which we need to um accelerate and in general like if you're turning you can't have the same speed as if you're straight which makes of course sense Absolutely. so we're opening up the steering wheel really early and going like straight over this curb, as you see, like I will slow it down even more. And that's where like, again, track limits come into play. Mm -hmm. It's like really on the limit and the track limit here, as you see, um, is basically, let me zoom in. You know, you see here the, uh, the white line, you know? Yes. Um, here. Okay, the one on the left. If you cross this white line with your right tires, you would be. This would be a cut. Whereas, like, if you would be just still touching the tires here, this would be no cut. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, so that's basically um, the track limit for this corner. And delete that if we go into this perspective. And you see it's everything is flat. Mm -hmm. um, I can just pause it there on the curb. Here we go. And you will see it's really on the edge of uh, being valid. You see I'm on the white, on the white line. If I would be on the left only like here, what, but not the white line, white line is, uh, it would be a cut. But we managed, you know, to extract every inch there and, you know, Oops, hold on. could, How you know, send it there. One second. I got into a different screen somehow. Okay. Uh-oh. One second. I got on our chat screen. <laughs> Just gonna... Yeah, no worries. Do this and then do this. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's still showing the chat screen. Yeah, um, just you know, t tell me when you when you're um, ready. I will continue then. Okay, one second. One second, folks. Hold one second. Um, let's see if I can get this working once again. And yeah. Um, 
excited about that. Thanks, Richard, mate. Really nice to hear that the sessions help you. I just hope the stream works, you know, because since the last week, my internet huh. just, especially like the upload, just goes nuts and I need to check with the provider maybe why it happens. I mean, that's just sad, you know. Sorry, I don't know why it's... Did you uh, solve it, Verena? Um, oh, I think I just... I just did, but... Um, mm -hmm. one, one second. Let's see. Err, I don't know Kay. why it's... Uh, one second. It's still showing my chat screen. And if I... Uh-oh. Oh no. All right. What happened? Um it is not showing any screen now. It's blacked out. Oh no. Interesting. It is interesting. Um hold on folks, I'm trying to make this work on my end. Okay, I'm gonna back out of here. I'm gonna stop watching the stream. And then I'm gonna go to Discord. Um, window capture. Oh no. Sorry, folks. I don't know what is happening here. Why can't I do it? <laughs> folks, thanks for hanging out. Um, I think Gregor and I are experiencing some technical difficulties. This is the first time this has happened before. Um, I feel like I kind of might have to reconnect to you, Gregor. Yeah, no worries, Verena. Okay. One second. We got that going. Yeah, I might have to restart something. Like, I didn't really do anything. Um, okay. I might, um, Gregor, if you don't mind, I might have to restart Restart Discord. your computer. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no, no worries. Okay, I'll be right okay. back. Thanks. Okay. All right, folks, sorry about that. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, Richard, thanks uh, for hanging out. Coles, let's see. What is the problem? Window capture. All right. Gregor, are you there? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. let's see. And I think you have to share your screen with me again. Uh, no, shouldn't be. I no? think you should still um, be able to see it, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's this one. No. Nope. Come on, Discord. Yeah, I know my stream is buffering, but that's like my... Uh, <laughs> I think my internet provider, it's... Uh, yeah. Okay. It says just, sharing your screen. Yeah, but, and then just click, you have to click on it then. But when I click on it, nothing is happening. Oh no. Um, uh, let me start it new. Okay. Sorry, folks. <laughs> screen is not coming over. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Folks who are joining us, please bear with us. 
we are having a bit of technical difficulties. Thanks so, so much for following. SIP060, I appreciate that. I'm trying to work it all out. Let's see. Ha, <laughs> BRB Scratcher, how's it going? Yeah, it's... I'm just, I don't know this, yeah, I, I will call them tomorrow, it's just... Okay, yeah, because um, I don't see your screen sharing right now, it's not coming over. Yeah, I guess it's then, oh, I mean, it's it says it's, <laughs> I'm streaming the, the screen, so I'm not sure what's the problem. Yeah, it says, like, on the message by your name, it says sharing their screen, but when I click on it, then nothing happens, and it... It's not like it usually shows it. Um, Let me quickly rejoin the call. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Oh wait, here we go. Hello? Hello. All right. Does it work? So that's better. I can see it now. Let's see if... Um, Discord. Come on, Discord. Why is it not showing? It's actually not showing on my side. Um, <sighs> I, I yeah, it's, know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very weird thing today. It's just black on my side well um hmm what should we do yeah nobody can see it on my side i'm not quite sure what to do gregor can people see it on your stream yeah should be possible yeah yeah i think so i mean i it's you see there at least Im the image you know and what i'm talking so it does okay. like sometimes it's it's buffering, but overall it should be fine on Twitch. Okay. So, um, well, make a display capture in Streamlabs. Yeah, maybe you can um, Here we go. use my stream as a uh, video input or so, and then, you know, just then people also should be able to see it, I think. Okay. Because I had a window capture. Um, I have a window capture in Discord, which is, or in Streamlabs, which is uh, how I was able to do it before. Um, how do I... Okay. Get to yours. Let me see. Let me go to your Twitch. Uh, folks, sorry about this, but I don't want you folks to miss it. So let's see if I can connect. Uh, I'll get Gregor's stream up, and then that way we can watch it from his Twitch. I, oh, yeah, that's it's just uh, this internet is. I don't know. <laughs> I like I literally never had issues with internet till like <laughs> the last couple of days. Uh, I guess I, I I was lucky. Yeah, definitely lucky. Okay, so if we do a window capture, hmm. All right, folks, so here's what we're gonna do. We are, I'm gonna put Gregor's Twitch, I'm gonna put Gregor's uh, Twitch channel in the chat. We are all going to move there. <laughs> How about that? I think that's the best thing that we can do. Um, okay, and go here. Yeah, this internet connection. I don't know. Uh, then I will also um, stop my stream on Discord to save a little bit of bandwidth. Okay. 
Folks, um, I'm going to quit my stream because I'm having trouble accessing Gregor's, um, Gregor's stream or Gregor, my Gregor's screen on my stream. So um, I put his Twitch channel in the chat, Twitch TV slash Gregor Shill. You will see it right there. Um, and I will see.